What's up everybody, welcome to the life of a board gamer, my name is Daniel and today we are playing Point Salad, but digital version, not the physical version. So I have not played this game so far, In I mean the real version, I played Point City, uh, which I think it plays pretty much the same. So yeah, uh, let me quickly show you how this app looks and then we're just gonna play a quick game against the AI and uh, see how well we do. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm really bad at this game. So yeah, first of all, when you open the game, you get this screen so you can play local or you can go online. So we're gonna play local and you can go up to six players, actually five AI players and us. But just for the sake of game being a bit faster, we're gonna play a regular four player game. So three AIs and yours truly. Uh, on a profile over here, you can see your stats, how many games you played. Now I know it says zero, but I played this game already on my computer at home. I didn't play it on this one in studio. And I think this is like, I don't know how many plays, but one zero. And uh, over here is account, uh, which uh, your username can be auto-generated and stuff like that. Or you can create your own. On options, you can see music, sound effects, what resolution you want to play full screen stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, we don't want to go with the tutorial. We already know how to play the game. The game is really super easy to play. And yeah, without further ado, let's start uh, playing the game. So let's click create. Oh, one thing I really like in this one is that they give you this auto generated names, which is like wild, I'm going to be wild tomato for today. We have a mystical onion, prestigious carrot and jolly pepper. So I really like those and uh, yeah, uh, the point salad, the game itself, it's pretty straightforward how you play it. Uh, it's either you take two vegetables from the board or you take one of these plates to score something by the end of the game and uh, that's that. So if you take the plate, the new plate will just come up and that's that. But if you take vegetables, uh, then uh, those uh, vegetables need to be replaced with, with uh, new vegetables and over here up here you can see which vegetables will show up next so right from the start I can I can say I can just go for fewest carrots scoring and just don't pick any carrots by the end of the game and I think that should be good so I'm gonna take the plate I know it sounds weird but uh, this is a game where you actually on a turn one can just start taking end game scoring and you press the end turn so yeah, you can just start taking the scoring ta without uh, taking any vegetables first. But you can take a little bit of risk and see if it does pay off. So yeah. So if I go for the fewest peppers, that would also bring me some points. But yeah, that's just like regular seven points. I can like go for this one and then just collect. When I ever, whenever I see these things, I can just take them. So yeah, I'm going to take some more scoring. And then we are going to worry about other stuff later so let's see what is a vegetable with at least okay so three points if I have vegetables with at least two types sounds interesting minus one for carrots but I don't want carrots so that's good and uh, this one says three points for the and I really need these oh so this this is the pitfall in this game for me because I constantly look oh, what can I score and then when the time comes to collect some vegetables uh, there's none to collect you know so but right now I don't see any tomatoes so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take this one too and I'm I promise I'm gonna start taking some vegetables it's important and let's see what will show up. I mean, not let's see. I know what will show up. Let's see how are we going to do this. So, uh, hmm. If I take, if I take this, and what I'm thinking right now is because I don't want any of the green salad and carrots. But I only have this one. Should I go for like uh, onions maybe? And then if something with onions shows up, maybe take it. That's what I'm toying with right now. Because I'm really not sure. Let's see. 
Okay, I'm just gonna take this one. Let's go for the onions and hope that something shows up that's really good, like for us. Oh, some tomatoes might show up. Ah, oh, come on. And now he starts collecting these things. So that's really not cool of him. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this one and I'm going to pick some onions and end my turn and hope for the best. Yeah. So yeah, point salad. It's really quick, fun game, I must say. Uh, so far I played it usually um, when I sit in front of the computer when I'm eating. Usually if I have my, if I'm eating something that I can have my one hand free because you can all this, play all this game with just one, the mouse clicks. And I like that, so I'm just gonna take these two. So yeah, I like it so far. I think it's a really nice, uh, I mean, as I said, I never played the physical version, but this is a really nice adaptation of the physical version, I presume, because it feels really cool, you know? And, uh, hmm, I already have two onions, and this guy has two onions, and whoever has the most onions gets 10 points. I'm thinking of maybe pursuing that. Let's Let's take it. And see, oh, so the ties are friendly. That's also really good. That's good to know. Now, if these two, if this purple cabbage or whatever it is, and this onion, if they stay on the table, oh, we are we are in a points. And uh, what I also like with this game is that automatically it counts, calculates how many points you have, so you know how far behind are you. And currently, prestigious carrot is destroying us. I'm not sure why. You can always, of course, click on them and see what they have, where's where the points are coming from. Oh, so they get four points for bell peppers, so, and they have like seven bell peppers. So that's like a lot of points. Okay. And I'm gonna just continue taking my points and see how well will I do. And now from some, suddenly he has four onions and four of these. So wild tomato, is am i the wild tomato wait i'm the wild tomato i thought i was jolly pepper why did i thought i was jolly pepper i'm the wild tomato jesus i completely i was 100 percent sure i'm a jolly pepper sure i was jolly pepper don't know why but it just occurred to me so now there's see now this is the issue uh, because there's like lots of carrots onions i'm currently in a lead so i don't think I need them anymore, but this plate looks really good because it gives me one point for ordinary one point, and I have both of those, a lot of them, so, and I plan on taking more. And of course, over here at the top corner, this is number of items remaining in deck, which means when this number runs out, the game is over. So yeah, as I was saying, this is a pretty quick game, super easy to get into. The rules are pretty simple, and you can just play it with one, one mouse and just click on it and uh, yeah. I really like it. What can I say? So yeah. And I mean, I'm going for the fewest carrots and nobody has carrots. Why is nobody taking carrots? I think they are playing against me, which is really, really awful of them. I'm just going to take two onions just to make sure I score those points. And yeah, of course you're going to take two cherries. I will. <laughs> They're just gonna take everything that's not. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, okay, so this is fine. I will just take these two and end my turn. And the opponents will take their own stuff. So we need to clear the board and everything. And that is that. And the game is over. So the winner is Prestigious Carrot with 85 points. I am second with 47, so. Prestigious Carrot completely destroyed us. I wish I could see what they had for scoring. So yeah, that's not an option. Oh yeah, it is actually in this screen. Completely forgot about it. So yeah, Prestigious Carrot. They gained 32 points from these bell peppers. That's insane. That's like insane. And then this thing over here and this thing combined, these three things gave him a straight up victory. This is what I like about this game is if you manage to snag yourself some powerful scoring combos, you can really be good at this game. So my best scoring plate was 12 points for the cabbages. 
I should have invested more into the cabbages. And uh, Mystical Onion, yeah, he was all around here and there. And Jolly Pepper, why was I thinking I was Jolly Pepper? I'm not really sure. Jolly Pepper just took a lot of, see, this is what happens. When you take a lot of these um, plates, you know, you take them and then most total veggies and you don't score them. You have like three zeros you invested. You basically wasted three turns and uh, yeah. Basically, we click the finish the game and we continue playing until we get a win. So yeah, that was point salad. Super easy game to get into. I actually really, really enjoy this one. Uh, this uh, adaptation is really interesting. It's really fun. I like it. I really like it. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you for spending time with me. Uh, I hope you like this little gameplay and uh, do join me next time when we are going to review some other game, either physical or digital version of it. And uh, yeah, until next time. Pozdrav.